Okay, this is uh, how the suspension works. This is uh, wheel bearing and this is wheel bearing carrier. The whole thing. Yes. So this thing is wheel bearing carrier. Okay, wheel, your wheel is installed here, basically your rotor is on top of this and your wheel is uh, attached to this one and your wheel bearing carrier is connected to the strut here is the strut and this connection is not a flexible connection so it cannot bend on top we have a strut mount that connects the strut to the body of the car okay now uh, in order to increase or decrease the camber so in order basically to turn your wheel this way or that way you need to change the angle of this strut right so if the strut turns this way then you will have more negative camber and uh, if a strut turns this way then uh, you will have positive camber okay now the question is how we can increase the degree of uh, strut i mean the degree that uh, the angle that uh, strut makes with uh, the body of the car okay as i mentioned on top uh, a strut is uh, connected to the body of the car by a strut mount and at the bottom here the wheel bearing carrier is connected to lower control arm this is lower control arm so it comes from here and goes and here and connected to and it's connected to uh, uh, body of the car okay so this is i mean yeah consider this one this uh, joint and the strut mount this three point make a triangle so in order to increase the angle between the strut and the body of the car i mean in order to suppose that this is your strut in order to make this change we have only two options one is that to move the mount strut mount towards the car i mean in, on that direction the other option is to move the bottom of the uh, wheel carrier uh, outward so these are the only two options actually mm, the standard way of increasing negative camber is to is by moving the mount uh, towards the car i mean inward and uh, there are some camber plates actually by doing that you cannot go beyond uh, half a degree and there are some, cam some camber plates that let you move the top of the strut a little bit further and maybe gain uh, minus one uh, degree of camber or whatever the other option however is that the increase you remember the triangle that i told you uh, one point here one point here and the third one strut mount the other way to increase the camber or increase the angle of the the strut with your the body of the car is to increase the length of the uh, lower control arm mm, that's the in order to do that either you have to buy some special uh, lower control arm or you can uh, switch it to uh, gt3 lower control arm that had that uh, you can put some shims in it and increase the length of the lower control arm so this is how uh, camber, is, uh, camber is adjusted on your car okay the other thing about uh, uh, 
this suspension is that as I mentioned we have this uh, strut and we have a spring so your wheel can go up and down I'm trying to push it and yeah as you see it goes up and down and as you see uh, this lower control arm can go up and down okay however this joint cannot take so much force uh, so much uh, horizontal force like this I mean when you brake if the car if the wheel was just uh, mounted on a uh, lower control arm like this when you brake basically the wheel bearing is pushed very hardly uh, to to back and it makes a huge amount of force on the lower control arm on this joint this joint is a short joint as you see and it cannot handle that much pressure uh, so uh, the way the, it works is that they added another part here as you see this is a thrust arm or a trailing arm this is connected on, on one point is connected to uh, body of the car and on the other point as you see it's connected to the lower control arm so the responsibility of this uh, thrust arm is that when you brake and or for any reason if the wheel uh, has some uh, uh, forces uh, towards the back or front of the car I mean this way or that way uh, in, in those situations this one keeps the control arm in place so basically thrust arm is the one that handles the pressure of the brake on the on the wheel so as you see so we have another triangle here one joint here one joint here and one joint here so uh, this triangle uh, keeps the wheel when you brake hard of course we have this tie rod which is connected to the, um, the steering wheel and when you turn the steering wheel it basically turns the wheel carrier wheel uh, bearing carrier from here okay I have seen that some people change this rubber bushing with uh, some solid bushing some solid joint the reason for that is that uh, when you break or uh, and turn so basically when you uh, trail breaking or for any kind of, of uh, horizontal pressure during turning this rubber bushing allows that the lower control arm moves a little bit horizontally so because of that the car would not be that accurate so because of this uh, rubber bushing here uh, it's not very accurate in the, in the cornering the, the steering is not very accurate so <coughs> they use uh, some people use a uh, fixed uh, joint for here to eliminate that movement